Hey, Shalom, Shalom. All right, first and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahushai, Ba'ashem, Rekhah Kodash, Brakta Yahweh, Brakta Yahweh, Brakta Yahushai, Brakta Yahweh, Brakta Yahushai, Brakta Yahweh, Brakta Yahushai, Brakta Yahushai, Brakta Yahushai, the water, 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 the city of faith and honesty and so on to your leg. So you got a brother Quam, I got a brother Malachi. We from our GMS Temple Bay 12, they camp out here in Temple 4, the heart of Babylon, the belly of the beast. All right, with another lesson, Lord, so edifying to your leg. All right, and uh, yeah, you know, through the spirit, you know, um, you know, just want to go in on um, hypersonic missiles, all right, the destruction, which ultimately, all right, which is created from the Heavenly Father, okay, which will uh, be the destruction of Babylon the Great. Babylon the Great being America, all right, according to the prophecies, all right? And, uh, hey, what a time to uh, actually understand the prophecies, man. You know, what a time to actually uh, uh, understand, okay, that the Heavenly Father is getting ready to ju judge the great whore. You know, according to Revelation 18, chapter, man. Okay, go ahead. Come on. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 54, verse 16. Behold, I have created the smith that bloweth the coals in the fire. Yeah, so what is that? That's the scientist, man. The Most High, you help us your side, created the scientist. You see? All right, yeah. all right. And that bringeth forth an instrument for his work. Right, and that instrument for his work, okay, is the thermonuclear missiles, okay, the so-called hypersonic missiles. The missile itself is just a title, man. Because uh, Ezra's, matter of fact, let's get there real quick. Ezra, all right, he called it an arrow. And uh, Jeremiah 2, which we'll get to in Jeremiah 50, is just a title. Ultimately, it's one of the armies by the Heavenly Father in Revelations of uh, the ninth chapter. Okay, it says uh, that, that out of their mouth preceded fire. Mm -hmm. You know, that's uh, 200 million missiles, man. It, it didn't say missile, mm -hmm. all right? Yeah, that's the army of the Lord. It said it was an army, you see? But this is ultimately going to destroy Babylon the Great, which is America, leaving it to be what? The lake of fire, man. You see? Go ahead. Uh, the, well, second, you the precept. Yeah, what you at? Second Ezra 16. All right. Second Ezra chapter 16. Mm -hmm. uh, Start verse 13. Yeah. For strong is his right hand that bendeth uh, the bow. Right. So what? A hey, so in uh, Isaiah, okay, it uh, uh, it called it a, a waster, okay. Now it's saying it's a, a bow, okay, uh, arrow. But guess what? Ultimately, the missiles is just a it's just a title, man. Okay, it's just the army of Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai, man. Go ahead. It reads, his arrows that he shooteth are sharp mm -hmm. and shall not miss when they begin to be shot into the ends of the world. Right, so these missiles that's getting ready to be shot off, 200 million of them, mm -hmm. is getting ready to hit their target, man. And that's according to the prophecies, man. Okay, go ahead. Verse 14 Behold, the plagues are sick and shall not return again. Until they come upon the earth. Verse 15. The fire is kindled. Yeah. And, all right, uh, the fire is kindled. Yeah. And shall not be put out. Till it consume the foundations of the earth. Right. And, and like me and a brother was breaking bread on. Okay. That's that's these uh, plagues. Okay. That's these plagues that's coming. You know. And uh, Yahweh Shai in Matthew 24 chapter. Right. Spoke about the plagues that's coming to the planet earth. man. The beginning of sorrows. Okay, because you, you Jakes out here, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native American Indians, you have no clue what's going on, man. You have no clue, okay, uh, uh, of the vengeance of the Heavenly Father, all right, through His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, okay, to uh, return, man, okay, and destroy this uh, wicked kingdom, man. And uh, that's why Ecclesiastes 8 chapter says, uh, uh, though the sentence of evil work is not executed speedily, Therefore, the hearts of the sons of men are fully setting them to do evil, man. You see, you guys out here, your hearts is fully setting you to do evil because it's not a physical judgment being seen yet. But the visions that we're having, the dreams that we're having, and the things that we're speaking about, the videos that we're making, guess what? All this is getting ready to be physical, man, to the point where we're not going to be doing videos anymore. You see? It's just going to be you and uh, if the Spirit is dealing with you. And for two-thirds of our people, the Spirit ain't dealing with you. Okay, that's what's coming in these last days, man. 
okay? Either your Hamas Messiah is dealing with you or he's not, okay? Either you understand prophecy or you don't, man. Either you believe, okay, or you are unfaithful. That's the times we're coming into, man, okay? Either you understand the truth, okay? Or you just uh, disannul what your Hamas Messiah got to say. And Proverbs 13 and 13 says, whosoever despises the truth must be destroyed. So if you despise these prophecies, you're going to be destroyed. Okay? And in uh, John the 13 chapter, okay, it says, uh, whoso receiveth you, receiveth me. And he and he that receiveth you, receiveth him that received, uh, that sent me, man. So this is a domino effect about respect to your how about seeing your outside. And that's something you dicks have lacked, man. From the foundations of the earth, that's something you dicks have lacked, man. You see? Go ahead. I got a, pre a quick precept in the uh, book of Habakkuk 2 and 2. And the Lord, Yahweh, answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon the tables, that he may run that readeth it. Yep. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but the end it shall speak and not lie. Yep. And, and the end is speaking. All right, second, that's the sixth chapter. It says what? The end of Esau, okay, the end of Israel, okay? Esau is the end of the world. How do you know we in uh, the end of the world? Because what? The Lord spoke about these things, man. It's going to be earthquakes. It's going to be famines. It's going to be a, 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 a tribulation, okay, in diverse places, man. Okay? Because, hey, once we get into the kingdom, which we're, we're breaking bread on, uh, the nation shall not learn uh, war anymore. So this how you know we ain't in the kingdom yet because war is still popping, man. War is still uh, 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 war is still being talked about, man. It's still a, a value source, man. Okay, uh, uh, article still going out on World War Three, man. You see, so that's a cut to uh, them being uh, uh, the Israelites, man. You see, because they're not in the uh, they're in the Holy Land, but they ain't the people of the Most High. You see, because war still going on. The scriptures say they shall not learn war anymore once we in that uh, land. You see. Not even fitting prophecy. Fitting prophecy. That's right. Oh, back in Habakkuk two and uh, two and three. Uh -huh. uh, uh, at the top, for the vision is yet for an appointed time, but the end it shall speak and not lie. Yeah, we at the end, man. Though it tarry, wait for it, mm -hmm. because it will surely come. It will not tarry. Yeah, it will not tarry. You know, so the heavenly Father is not tarrying. He's prolong. He's he been prolonging it for a minute. You know, but now this is the Heavenly Father shortening the days, man. You know, and how do you know that? Because the RFID chip, which is the mark of the beast, a regular J or average Joe on the streets know that the RFID chip is the mark of the beast, man. Everybody know that the mark of the beast is uh, the RFID chip, okay? Everybody know, hey, matter of fact, a, a, a clear example is everybody know who the so-called Illuminati is. Everybody know who the Illuminati is, but what? Their power was to be uh, hidden in darkness, man. Right? But get uh, Job 34 and 22, bomb shot real quick. You say Job what? Uh, 34 and 22. 34, this is the book of Job, chapter 34, verse 22. Mm -hmm. There is no darkness nor shadow of death yep. where the workers of iniquity may hide themselves. Right. So uh, Esau Edom can't hide himself, man. Okay, why? Because the Most High, the Scripture say the Most High dwelleth in thick darkness. See? All right, so we can go. Uh, you can go back to uh, yeah. yeah. It's the Book of Second Ezra, chapter sixteen, verse um, fourteen. Behold, the plagues are sent, yeah. and shall not return again until they come upon the earth. Yeah. So even if Esau, even if so called men do open up. You know, uh, so-called America. Guess what? It's just going to lead more into. Uh, uh, it's going to lead into more plagues. Okay, and you know, because the scriptures tell you in Surah the twelfth chapter, never trust thy enemy. So it's always Esau Edom is always finding a way to uh, 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 destroy you, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and eighth rank Indians, man. Okay, now, now here it is. You have the farmers. Okay, they have to. Uh, got they got to uh, euthanize their uh, cattle. Okay. But then here it is, Esau Edom is getting, uh, he's getting meat from uh, Africa, man. But it was once upon a time where they got all these commercials saying, hey, we got to feed the poor out there in Africa, you know? Hey, man, you know, struggling out there in Africa. Hey, man, look, you know, hey, if, if only you give a dollar, you can save 10 lives, right? 
but but you getting meat from Africa, man. But uh, 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 at the same time, you are uh, euthanizing the cattle here in America. Why? Because ultimately, Esau Edom is the devil, man. So if there's not something in that meat, that meat is contaminated, man. Okay. Lord's will, you know, Lord's will that meat contaminated just get rid of this, these people, man. You know, but we are not ignorant of Satan devices, man. You know, you got some. Yeah, going into uh, what you were just saying about uh, Esau, uh, it's the book of Psalm chapter 7, verse, uh, so like, Psalm chapter 10, verse 7. God. Uh, his mouth is full of cursing and deceit yep. and fraud, and, it's, and under his tongue is mischief yep. and vanity. Yep. And that's his uh, legislation, man. His so called draconian laws he's pushing out. It's mischief, man. Okay? It's ultimately to, uh, to come up against the, uh, the pure. The pure in heart is is an elect man, mm -hmm. you know, because they know we ain't gonna bow down to no RFID chip. Oh. They know we ain't gonna take no vaccines. So this guy is staying up every night, bugging out, okay, leaving his house, flying on these jets. He like, God damn, bro, these guys still ain't these guys. It's, it, it. That's why in Second Ezra, the second chapter says, "These that stood so stiffly for the Lord." Oh. You see, we standing stiffly for this word, man. You see. Because we know that the tricks of the devil. We know the uh, the wiles of the devil, man. We are not ignorant of his devices, man. You see? So that's why his ultimate plan is going to hit his thermonuclear missiles. To just wipe this place out, man. You know, out of his misery. Because that's what this place needs. Uh, is, a, is a missile, man. You know, 200 million missiles, man. Uh, according to the prophecies, you know. You got to go back and more to it? Uh, no, you can go back to second. All right, second. The book of Second Ezra, chapter sixteen. Esau head, you know. The book of Second Ezra, chapter sixteen, mm -hmm. start at verse uh, sixteen. Uh, so, so like in fifteen, yep. the fire is kindled yep. and shall not be put out yep. till it consume the foundation of the earth. Right, that's these plagues, the beginning of sorrows, great death, destruction. Second uh, Ezra, the eighth chapter says, great misery shall come upon them. All right, that uh, dwell upon the earth because of their pride. Get uh, Jeremiah, we pull down on this, uh, Jeremiah 50 and 9. Jeremiah 50 and 9, because, you know, Jake out here, you know, Jake is bugged out, bro. Okay, so it's going to come a time where the Heavenly Father is just going to, okay, ultimately, all right, remove your, uh, uh, remove your, your access, okay, to uh, finances, okay, remove your access, your access to your so-called loved ones by what? Getting away with the YouTube, getting away with your technology, okay? Getting away with uh, 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 your access to food, okay? The Heavenly Father is going to uh, bring a great shortage to America, man. Because you Americans, okay, you you lost. You have no clue, all right, about prophecy. You're not watching. Hey, you don't read, okay? And the scriptures say, seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read, man. But see, you Americans, you don't read. You don't have no understanding. So the day of the Lord is going to overtake you as a thief in the night because the whole time when you're supposed to be building up in the scriptures, you took the Lord for a game. You see? So now when all these things come uh, come upon thee, it shall overtake thee, man. You know? And none shall escape. Because the whole time you thought the Lord was a game. You thought your Corvette was going to save you. You know? You thought your 401k was going to provide for you in that time. You thought the government was going to uh, provide for you in that time. You see? But see, we're coming into a time where woe unto him that trust in Egypt. And you guys going to lose your damn minds in this time, man. And it's going to be beautiful because the Lord said we're going to laugh at their destruction. Okay. No? Uh -huh. Go ahead. Uh, just yeah, the, you call it out on that. Jeremiah, right. you know. Jeremiah, this is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 50, uh, starting at verse 9. For lo, I will raise and cause to come up against Babylon. Right, which is America. Right. An assembly of great nations. Right. Russia, you know, Syria, North Korea, South Korea, even America's allies. Revelation uh, 17, it speaks about uh, they shall burn her with fire. You know, the beast shall hate the horde, the beast being NATO, EU. You see? So her own allies is going to turn on her and shoot missiles, which is going to make America a lake of fire, a desolate wilderness. You see? Go ahead. An assembly of great nations yep. from the north country. Right, out there in the east. Go ahead. And they shall set themselves in array against her. Right, gathering their troops. Okay. Uh, from thence she shall be taken mm -hmm. 
their arrows shall be as of a mighty expert man. Yeah, their arrows shall be as a mighty expert man. Did not in our second essence say, for strong is his right hand that beneath the boat? Right? Okay, so what? That being the, the silo and the arrow being a missile, man. Okay? These missiles get ready to be launched, man. And hey, and the scriptures say, who can turn, who can turn them away? Who can turn these plagues away, man? And I think that's on second answer 15. Who can turn these plagues away? Once the most high said it, it's done. Okay, the scriptures say uh, in Isaiah 55, it shall not return unto him void. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's already written. So this got to happen. See, but see, you Jake's out here, you still lost, you still bugged out, you still believe in the government. And that's going to be your demise. And ultimately, you're going to take the RFID chip. And we're just doing nothing but prophesying to you. We're telling you what you're going to do. We on phone in your head. We're pulling your Joker card, man. We're pulling your Ace of Spades, you know? We, we pulling your card, telling you what you're going to do. We know what's in your hand. Why? Because the scriptures gave us that. You see? Through the understanding of the prophecies, man. And ultimately, that's what's going to wipe you away is these missiles. Go ahead. Uh, and it reads, it's an, an array against her. Mm -hmm. From thence shall she be taken. Right, from thence shall she be taken. Go ahead. The arrows shall be as a mighty expert man. None shall return in vain. And Chaldea shall be a spoil. Right, which is America. Modern and day America. Right. All that spoil her shall be satisfied, saith uh, Yahweh. Right, and that goes into uh, Habakkuk. You know, the nations shall rejoice over your destruction. You know? Go ahead. Uh, verse 11. Because ye were glad, mm -hmm. because ye rejoiced, yep. O ye destroyers of mine heritage. Right, and that heritage is the nation of Israel. Okay. You rejoice in our downfall. Okay. You was next to Kenny when it came down to the destruction of the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. When we fled from the Roman persecution in 70 AD, we was dwelling uh, in the Western Hemisphere of Africa. Guess who was there? Esau Edom. Okay? He led us off here to uh, in a cargo slave ship, man, to America, man. Hey, matter of fact, uh, going to the Northern uh, tribes. Who came over here saying he, he wanted to uh, see the New World? So-called white man. So-called white man, bro. Okay, that's why the son of perdition is being revealed. This is his time to be revealed. See, and he can't upset this, and he can't stop this because prophecy must be fulfilled. Go ahead. Because ye are grown fat, mm -hmm. and as the heifer at the grass, yep. and bellow as bulls, your mother shall be sore confounded. Yeah, going in Great Britain. Go ahead. She that bear you shall be ashamed. Yep. Behold, the hindermost of the nations shall be a wilderness, a dry land, and a desert. Yep, yeah, so America is going to be a desert, man. All right, let's get that real quick. Jo uh, Joel 2 and uh, 3. Close out on that, too. America getting ready to be a desert, bro. Uh -huh. Yeah, we doing these videos right now. We talking to you. We breaking bread. Okay, we doing lessons. But America getting ready to be a desert, bro. We literally, get, we literally standing in a desert, bro. The Lord getting ready to save us, man. Redeem us, bro. Out of this place. These, bro, fuck who don't believe, bro. If these niggas don't believe, fuck them. At the end of the day, the Lord is coming back to redeem his elect, bro. We gonna make it out of this, bro. When these missiles drop, the elect gonna make it, bro. The elect gonna make it. Hey, because the scriptures say the Lord is not a lie. The Lord is not a man. He shall not lie, bro. If you put your trust in y'all watching me on shot, you gonna be with him, man. You're going to be with this thing, man. You're going to be with the words that you have watching me outside, bro. But you got to understand that America is, has to be destroyed, bro. It has to be destroyed. Okay, go ahead. This is the book of Joel, chapter 2, uh, starting at verse... You get sorry, right two. to the point. All right, uh, sorry, go ahead. Sorry, two. Spirit. A day of darkness mm -hmm. and of gloominess. Yeah. A day of clouds of thick darkness yep. as the morning spread upon the mountains a great people and a strong there hath not been ever the like neither shall there be any after it yep so neither shall there be any after this destruction man it's the greatest destruction coming bro call all you how about me outside bro we out of here bro after this man no more captivity no more being no more. a nigga a spick mm -hmm. you know okay a wet back hey they go when they see 
Oh, it's one of them. <laughs> it's a God. The whole nation. God. Our whole nation, bro. Mm -hmm. Gonna be, oh, it's, it's a God. Mm -hmm. What can I do? What, what would you? No, we just gonna point. This in our orders, man. Mm -hmm. you no, know, that's the inheritance starting with the elect. You no, know, those that believe. Go ahead. It says, even to the years of many yep. generations. Yep. Verse 3 a fire dev uh, devoureth before them, and behind them a flame burneth. Yep. The land is at the Garden of Eden. Yep, so America is the Garden of Eden. Go ahead. Before them, and behind them a desolate wilderness. Uh, behind them a desolate wilderness, man. So when these missiles hit, it's a desolate wilderness, man. Mm -hmm. You see? Mm -hmm. So it don't matter how how it don't matter about how tough you is, how big you is, how much money you got in your account. Okay. Mm -hmm. When these missiles drop, all that shit gonna be destroyed and left right here. Okay. The scripture say the Lord shall be exalted in the, in that day, Psalms forty six and ten. So we read earlier, you know. So with that, hey. Yeah, read on that, read on that, read on that. Yeah, go ahead. You close out on that up. It says, Behind them a desolate wilderness, yea, and nothing shall escape them. Yep. All right? Speak on, you speak on so that. that's it. You know, at the end, when all these missiles drop, this is when you're going to see the elect being beamed up. Yep. And at that time, the rest of this world, plus uh, uh, imagine uh, uh, Babylon the Great, that's when it's going to be destroyed. That's when you're going to see the uh, scriptures will be fulfilled in that day. All right. Uh, which is what? Which is the elect? Which is the okay. elect written in the book of life? Mm -hmm. Okay, Revelations. All right, speaks about the elect. Okay, uh, 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 being beamed up yeah. and seeing the destruction of America, man. You know, that's why Revelation eighteen it says, "I rejoice, ye holy prophets and ye apostles. Mm -hmm. The Most High have avenged you on her. We're gonna actually be up in those chariots in that new body. Mm -hmm. You know, watching." The destruction looking down like damn you're gonna be seeing Susie uh, okay you're gonna be seeing little Jamal who you grew up with Darshan who's the hood nigga with the, with the weed he was on deck okay Casey all right your boss everybody and they're gonna be all being destroyed and the scripture says the, the, the remnant was a Friday yeah and that's why uh, that's when you're gonna see they lit it's gonna give all praises to Yahweh by Shem Yahushai right. for the deliverance the salvation all right, from the destruction that's about to happen to Babylon the Great. That's right. Uh, that's right. All right, you close out, bro. Oh, uh, that's all we got uh, for this lesson. Uh, Lord willing, it was edifying unto you, Akim, and Abwathim. Um, we want to give all our praises to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahushai, by Hashem, and Kakadash. We want to give another double honor to our apostles and elders in Great Millstone who have taught us this is truth and who rule well. Shalom. Shalom.